which have. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the round of 16 match between Thomas T and Ducky. Um, Fymir in the commentary booth with me. Hello, Fymir. Hello, everybody. We're here to see something not very common, which is a Dark Elf Mirror and Thomas T with nearly a full team. <laughs> yeah, he's got 11 players plus Eldril plus a wizard. And also an extra apple and two extra bibs and a bribe. So he's down a significant chunk of TV. Um, but of course, the wizard and Eldril can be uh, pivotal in in, a, in an elf mirror, can it? So, yeah. Um, that gives him a decent shot. That's a ducky with 14 players, you know, came here with everybody and their mothers. <laughs> yeah, like that reliability of the extra players, it, it, it's giving away. Like, two of those reserves are giving away a wizard, aren't they? But I guess it's okay when you're this bridge ahead because it's not really giving away the wizard because it's just yeah, it was bribe and the, and the, the bribe and a babe. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I'd definitely take the two players for a bribe and a babe. Thomas T. Well, the bribe is because of the get the ref. All right. Uh, Look at you paying attention. All right. <laughs> yes. So it's uh, an up on a babe. Yeah. Yeah. So you, like, so it's okay at this stage. Like, it wouldn't have been worth cutting like all three or anything. Um, the thing is, Thomas T had a um, uh, fantastic uh, witch elf, the strength four, mighty blow, but double school herself on a minus armor injury. Being uh, honest with the legend of Thomas T, the man who is probably the worst uh, dice in most games when it comes to his own players. <laughs> yeah. Zaduki's got a couple of movement, which isn't that good, is it? A couple of guard, an ad jump, a bit on a lino. Um, Thomas T has a guard and a move up, rattle strip. An Eldril, so yeah, it's... And lots of dabbing tackle, which is, you know, this kind of game is going to be good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Three... Side step dabbing tackle, absolutely nightmare. Yeah, three dabbing tackle, that is interesting. Oh, that's, a, that's an instant removal. So now Ducky down to nine. Okay, power apples. Power wow. apple by Ducky there. I guess you might as well when you've got three bench, eh? Yeah. That definitely increases the value of a power apple. So Ducky definitely going all in to stop this drive, eh? Because you've kind of got to after using a power apple when you're already down a man. It's a brave move. I don't feel like Ducky's team is that much better than Thomas T's. For the no. I don't know, uh, they have more skills and like that, but you know, with the wizard and the uh, drill, is really, really even. Yeah, yeah, they're not as, as they're not as more powerful as you would like to be more powerful to give away a wizard. And then, like they are more powerful, obviously, but they're not as more powerful as you would like to be more powerful to give away a wizard and elder. Yeah, like he's missing, you know, this kind of a monster player, you know, maybe a witch with a mighty blow for or i five or. Or a blitzer, you know, with a uh, IG5, but it's an uh, lineman, the IG5 one. But it's good after all, you know, but there are no monstrosities. It's just a regular team at this TV. Yeah. Here we go, ducky foul. Oh, sent off. Yes, thank God. Oh, oh my God. God. Fails. Oh, my I, God. I never thought I'd see the day. Of Ducky, you know, missing a bribe. Oh what is going to happen here? What is happening here? Wow, triple ones. How unlucky can you get? That is pretty brutal, especially after the power apple. To keep the player on. Jesus Christ, Thomas T has a blotch step diving tackle guard player. That could be the most annoying player I've ever <laughs> seen in my life in Blood Bowl. <laughs> Obviously blitzing there just to just to uh, go for like the edge five. Fair enough, isn't it? Lots of two pluses from Thomas T here. Is he going to try and foul this guy as well? 
He's really relying on this fella not getting power. This is pretty greedy, isn't it? Ah, uh, oh, the rift. Wow. Accepts this. The point. ref absolutely on top. He's probably punishing them for these absolutely disgusting fouls. Okay, he had, it, he had him after him, but imagine if he got sent off there and then this guy gets powered. I mean, because he's definitely getting hit and wrestle as well. That was, uh, that was very risky. The pal. Interesting follow. Wow, goes for the. Wow, the there you go, eh? Oh, balls out. Balls out play from the duckster there. Like he didn't have dodge, so it, it wasn't a terrible hit, was it? Like one and three to pop it, and then if you do, you've got players free around this side. It was ballsy. I like sidestepping here as well, I don't know even sidestep to there, but interesting players from both people. This game is just absolutely confusing, I don't know which player is playing for. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard work with them all being Dark Elves and them all having blood step. <laughs> Yeah, I'd hear that sidestep, I would have sidestep for him. One in nine. Oh, run out of time. Oh god, now this is an easy 2D on the ball. Wow. I'm pushing it there. That was really bad by Thomas T, wasn't it? Oof. Lucky reward there. Eh? There are more hits, more hits coming. Oh, was was that bad by Ducky? Because it could have could have two deed with the witch to get an assist. I think I very much preferred hitting with the witch to then make that two D in the ball. Uh, maybe could, maybe would have had to give up this witch to do it though because of the diamond tackles over here. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of dodges you can make, is there actually against all of this diving tackle? Amazing isn't that the four dice don't get a power but the one dice does. <laughs> one dice how it'll work. Nope. Oh Well that was prophetic. <laughs> there you go. The one dice always work for someone somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that one dice really worked for Thomas T. And now the power up is uh, is feeling bad for the duckster. It should be relatively easy to get the ball back, shouldn't it? I don't block with a blockless loner though. Maybe he shouldn't have. Maybe he should have. You know, gone for a blitz with a witch elf somehow. I have to say, this is an extremely rowdy game. I mean, there are blocks all over the place. Yeah. You know, this is like uh, in in the fluff Dark Elf games look like. Yeah. It's fuck very... screens, fuck everything. Yes, <laughs> two dice, everybody. Now Thomas T's out of rerolls and failed the pickup. Oh my god, where's the edge five? Where is the edge five? There he is. There you go. Alright, let's have a look. Can you chain him out? <laughs> chaining, even chaining him forward? God, it's just a mess. It's just an absolute mess, isn't it? I mean, I guess you can just pick it up with an edge four there and two, two tackle zones is fine, isn't it? In fact, you can hit the witch away as well. Oh, yeah, well, it's one. I mean, there are David tackle all over the place. Yeah. I have to say, what a, what an absolutely disgusting game to play. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't like to be any of the coaches here. This is a nightmare. <laughs> mm, interesting. 
Wow, going for the scatter. This could go bad though. Okay, it went perfect. Or, you know, casually. <laughs> and there you go. Diamond tackle. Oh, that window again doesn't work. Oh, use the reroll on the dodge. Yeah, no, no tackle on that diamond tackler, so. Just put myself on the ground. That's an unexciting hypnotic gaze, isn't it? It has to be said. <laughs> I feel like maybe he could have got something more valuable than that. Like, everyone on him was a 2 plus dodge with a re-roll away. That seems a very low-impact low gaze. Maybe it's like dodge away and, and gaze this one. Like more. I think that's what I liked. I, I think I liked yes. running around and trying to four plus gaze this one. Because if you gaze this one, then then you then you can run through here and stuff. Oh, one one D gets a skull. No. To start and now Ducky. I was going to say this is easy for Ducky now, but it, it might not be because God knows how much blood step diamond tackle there is, but. Yeah, it seems like it should be easy for Ducky to uh, get away. Oh, well, he's pushed a diamond tackle onto another character. Oh, the three plus dodges. Disgusterous. There's a diamond tackle without tackle again, so no problem. There's another skull. Oh, into another, another skull. skull. In the dead. 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 <laughs> wow. Jesus. Wow. That's horrible. Wow. Ducky should not make one dice blocks with witch elves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, he nearly caught. He bowled it and nearly caught it straight after on you. Oh man! What the? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ducky. Uh, don't foul. Don't do one dice. Oh no, Ducky. Rough <laughs> times to you. Yeah, that's a lovely gaze. Okay, that. that's that's a much better hypnotic gaze. Yeah, that's the gaze you should have done last time. I think. Gets the boat down is actually perfect because otherwise you could have. He could have pushed him there and like a line or could have caught it or something, so... Does he just go for the lob? Not with this guy not being tagged. So can he keep the ball safe? Sam seven! I mean, you know, is the... Uh... Yeah, only got the words going. <laughs> but hard to deal with, I guess. I don't know, wrestle. So the question is now, is does Ducky um, try for the score or just do the boring safe move of knocking him down? I guess he's got to just try and knock him uh, down. Ducky's going for the score. I think that's... It's asking a lot. It's not that hard, I guess. But there's no reroll. There was a reroll. I thought he was out of rerolls. Oh, Thomas T's out of rerolls. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> God leg <-like> scatters here. <laughs> You know, with one with only one scoring threat, I would have been tempted to try and just wrestle him, to be honest. But I guess if you, he would have tied up to here, so one, two, three, G five, G five. No, one, two, three, four, G. Yeah, he would have been in scoring range if he hadn't broken armor. So I guess it was right to go for the score. A tackle in the KO. What a, what a bad day to be a witch. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fair, but I think if, if a power on this guy would have stopped him scoring, I would have gone for it, but the fact that the power doesn't stop him, then I think it's not worth trying it, and then I think that tilts it into going for the ball. Like, obviously, the, the scoring is, is, like, huge. But you would have had another chance next turn, wouldn't you, even if you hadn't got it there. And the lack of rerolls is the thing, isn't it? There you go. I don't like that one deep. Oh, this guy could have scored, couldn't he? I think that he could have done that uh, to D. He had two three players. Yeah, that seemed... I guess there was a tackle, diamond tackle on it. Uh, there, there is always a diamond tackle around. Yeah, it's just where it's on tackle. Like, if it's on diamond tackle, it's not so bad. If it's on tackle as well, it's, uh... Well, that was an absolute mess of a uh, half. Yeah. But a good result for Ducky, really. The wizard was yes. gone on yes. on Thomas T's offense. So now and the wizard, can... the wizard is gone. The Braves are gone. The Apples are gone. Yeah. The witch elves are gone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, his wish died and the other one got cast. But he's still got 11 players. And the wizard's gone. In terms of in terms of match equity, it match wasn't equity a bad Match equity is Ducky's game. Yeah, it wasn't a bad half in terms of match equity. In terms of chalice equity, it was pretty bad. Because the witch elf is dead. <laughs> yeah, like... It wasn't that good of witch elf, though. It was only three skills. Like, and movement is... Like, it helps him one turn, so it's not that good. But now the assassin, the secret weapon of Ducky, is on the pitch. Yeah, you can stab Eldril here. It'll be good. Another and another. Roll. Ducky gets a second chance at fouling. <laughs> stab. Cass! Jesus Christ! <laughs> they would have killed a tree. <laughs> Ah, Ducky was saving the dirtiest tricks for the second half. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Oh god, two cards. Well, there you go. <laughs> this starts to look more like a Thomas T game now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is, a, this is a more normal Thomas T game. Yeah. Absolutely disgusting that they're stabbing. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Has got to be wary of Eldril. Of course, at all times. I mean, it's between Eldril and the diving tackles, you know, there is a risk of uh, getting in very complicated situations very easy. Yeah. Would like to get the assassin around the ball at some point. Like, obviously, you've got to, you've got to use him on the LOS, but... Uh... I think having him near the ball is pretty cool, isn't it? To like stab Eldred if things go wrong or if, you know, if things happen. I would I liked him to have I like him to be around the ball in an elf matchup. Here's the foul. Butthole foul. With a kick piece. Oh. A hidden bonus from kick not being enough. Does he just go for the tackle and the good player? Look, sure looks like it. A little bit greedy was, this, isn't it? A little bit greedy. That was a very good, I think it was a very good blitz. I mean, it isn't, it isn't like it's, it's a great player to take out, isn't it? But then obviously he's got the sidestep and... And so, like, you know, so it can be a bit of a... You can be, you can find yourself in a bit of trouble if you fail to knock down, basically. But, but I think right now is the most dangerous player because of guard, having tackle, side step. Yeah, for sure he's like, he's, a, he's an amazing player and he's definitely a player that you want to be able to foul um, next turn. So, yeah, great stuff. Okay, he's fouling with the assassin. Which has an extra knife in uh, behind one of his boots when he does the fouls. <laughs> there you go, Ducky, yes, back into his game, you know, giving the opponent a false sense of confidence. <laughs> There's the diamond tackle. 
turning elves into dwarves. Yeah, see, I, did, I would have, I would have liked to just move the assassin over here, so he's near the ball and he's protected. But instead, his armor seven is getting picked off, and he is cast. And it was because of armor seven. There you go. Rip. Ripperoni. A token gesture to protect that guy from getting fouled. So now the question is, well, first of all, can you power this guy? And second of all, do you try to foul this guy? Big pal. I think Ducky will try to follow up for I There is a chance. There is a chance that there is a foul. But there is this Witch Elf, and this Witch Elf is a good foul target as well, isn't it? It's a good Blitz target with armor 7. And it's a good foul target. The bow. Oh, I don't really understand going down there. To defend against the hit now. Yeah, okay, so they're, they're both doubled. Oh, now the referee gets the drive. So yes, the idea of this double here and this double here is so that not one can get hit node and get in. Yeah, bribe actually worked, unbelievable. Defending against the Hypno and gets uh, gets rackled and stripped anyway. Well, there you go. Maybe you should have fouled that witch. Out. Not like Ducky to not foul, is it? <laughs> <laughs> like there was a real ad, ad, like I would have expected like a, a the push to there and then a big foul on that witch elf is what I expected like cage around the witch elf and foul it but I mean that is risky isn't it oof oh. big one makes it does he hand off to score he does yeah, because it's getting horrible now, isn't it, with this yes. uh, elder and people in contact. I like just, just taking this. The witch elf was there, yes, waiting. Yeah. And now there's no more bribes, so fouling it. Not as appealing. So now it's advantage Thomas T, really, isn't it? Um, well, not really. I mean, kind of. He's used his wizard, but he can make it 1-1, and he has removed four players, so Ducky is on 10 max, but I guess Thomas T is on 10 max as well. I need to get lucky on the lowest hits. Still got his apple. Cookies is gone. And still got his bribe. Whereas both of Duckies are gone. Yeah. 
Nice weather. Most exciting kickoff result there is. <laughs> Just dumb blocking ahead. That's uh, strange, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe just values having people able to react, like hitting with block and then having people free to act afterwards rather than maximising blocks. I find that sometimes as elves I don't really care so much about the extra hits as just having people free to defend the ball and stuff. And like obviously not making blocks out of block because then you can get yourself into trouble. Doesn't have to worry about frenzy anymore <laughs> due to both which is being cast. <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. Horrible camera work, I do apologize. Got to go for Eldril here, surely. Yes, Eldril became a target. It's hard because I'm using my left hand, Timmy, and, then, and I'm not. I'm not very skilled with with left hand movements. Feels like someone else is doing it. Is a, a tough screen for Thomas T to break. Down a player now with the uh, elder removal. Maybe shouldn't have allowed your armor seven defenseless player to get blitzed, but who can say if that's right or wrong? <laughs> I was I was watching it. I think he's gonna get blitzed. Too lonely there. Yeah, he was he was very weak to getting blitzed, wasn't he? Equity, big equity, big equity shift there with. Eldril getting removed. I mean, he's not as good on offense, but he can still do things on offense, can't he? Again, like the assassin, I would have just had him near the ball, ready to uh, do something if required. And kind of protected. Ducky does have the guards, doesn't he? Two guards to one. So. He does have the bash advantage, but he can't just really mindlessly base, so it's it's still a bit tricky. I've just got to screen hard and hope it's enough to get the hang on to the one 0 win, which it rarely is. <laughs> but he can try. Like I feel like you've usually got to make a play for the ball as elves, because like even if you just screen perfectly and have you know the double elf screen for the whole half, it's still just not that hard to break it, is it? No, with elves, no. Yeah. There you go. There's a removal. An attack el piece. Bosh. See the, the fabled witch elf foul this time. I think we could. I don't even hate it. Oh, boo, he's just running forward with the witch elf. I guess he can foul this guy with the GFI, isn't he? Is it? No, he's not even going to foul. Not even foul. I really like what fouling this guy. What a waste of a time. But I have a turn 15. <laughs> oh, I 
Well, I think that whichever is gonna get blitz. <laughs> yeah, sure looks like it. There's right. a chance. There is a chance. <laughs> There's a tackler right here. But he's still got to think about the switch to the other side and stuff, and, and then also powering through here. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things to think about for the duckster. And the jump up as well. That's pretty, that was a pretty good turn, wasn't it? There wasn't uh, There's not an obvious weak spot in all of this, I don't think. Pretty good. Thomas T going for this... This lineman score, I guess. Looks like it, yes. I mean that was the thing. It was it was hard, right? Because there's the jump up here, there's these blitzers here that can go through there, and then there is the switch to that side on as well. So it was it was hard at defending against everything. Wow, he just blocked. I'm surprised he just blocked. Like there was no damage tackle there. Why why not just go through here? I think that was the play. Okay, this one's gone through there. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty sick. And yeah, now all of a sudden, that's looking. Yeah, the the jump up is just disgusting, isn't it? Really, on which holes. Now all of a sudden, it's uh, looking basically impossible for Ducky to stop this, and it's going to come down to the fifty-fifty as to who receives. Okay. There you go. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Oh no, he just needed a two plus. Oh, sick. Two plus to win. Sick. Yeah, I, I, if I was Thomas T, I would have dodged this guy out and then put him there so that then you, you know that wasn't on. He just blocked. It's a bit crap. Whoa, hello Goliath. Oh, hey Goliath. Base, base, base. Oh, this nice double fail. skulls. The I rando, the pointless reroll remove before before overtime. Well done. <laughs> Not the best play you've ever seen. I mean, obviously unlucky to double skull, but... Really probably should have just scored there, I think. Yeah. After seeing so a double chances, score from Ducky as not well. Not many chances of getting a cast or a removal. No. Like if it was yeah. to win, if it was just to win and the game be over, then I think it's it's almost like kind of fair enough, right? Greed for the SPP, it's not so bad. But when it's in the playoffs and like the best you can hope for is overtime, you've got you've got to conserve rerolls there, I think. Oh, and Ducky's lost the toss. Oh, well, time to go to the loop. <laughs> Failed the KO recover. So, we're looking at nine players. Nine players for Ducky. And ten for Thomas T. He was always likely to get his KO, KO back, to be fair, with two, two, uh, two babes. And now he's got a gaze to unlock the defence as well, hasn't he? So this is going to be a very tough ask for the Duckster. Yeah. 
Like, it's hard anyway against elves to stop them scoring when they can score any time they want. But when they when they can score any time they want, and they've got a pro elf catcher with uh, hypnotic gaze, they're uh, <laughs> really hard to stop scoring. <laughs> Do you go for the serve here as Thomas T? That's the question. He's not going for the serve. He's going to play it sensible. Not even sensible. He's very conservative. Well, not very. I mean, he's putting the ball out there. But it's still hard to get in, isn't it, with the uh, diamond tackles and stuff. I think a lot of people might have just tried a fast score, at least threaten a fast score. One of those times where like a random dickhead line all around the side uh, gets a lot more dangerous when, when you know they can score any time they want. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Haven't missed anything, I don't think. <laughs> Thomas T with the ball in overtime. That's the thing, isn't it? That random, that rando line elf. Normally, you just wouldn't give a shit about him because. But now, yes, now he's a. Uh... You need to take care of it. Mm. Interesting. Paul Bates, GG. Ducky disgusted by Thomas T's lack of etiquette and not conceding at the instant ball base. Yes, there is uh, absolutely lack of professionalism in this uh, CCL <laughs> bunch of amateurs. <laughs> but he does have Elder ready to gaze some people. Oh, this could be it. Blitz, yeah. And there is this kind of, you know, would be a diversionary lineman, but now in overtime he's just going to go for this. Just some two pluses. Oh, there you go. And that's it. And that's it. Boy, howdy. Well, there was Rando certainly an argument for blitzing that guy, wasn't there? Save the day. I would have been really, really tempted to blitz him, you know, and take away the chance of that uh, happening. Yeah. But it's a very complicated game, I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was, it was always going to be hard to, like, to stop that. The fact that he could... The fact that he was elves with Eldrill, like, it was just always going to be really hard, like, to, to, to show him. Like, you can't show... Like, it's so hard. It's so hard against elves that can score any time they want. Um, so all you can do is try and stop them scoring that turn, and then keep doing that every turn, and then you know hope to hope to get a lucky ball break. But um, yeah, re really tough. But uh, yeah, interesting game, wasn't it? Very interesting to watch. Yes, yes, very complicated, very you know, very difficult to play. I mean, as a kind of thing, I just uh, I have to play that, and maybe everybody tempted just to concede. I'll take a three months uh, break. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's often the, the best EV player when it comes to Blood Bowl. <laughs> you know, I like Wizard, Edril, uh, Davin Tackle, my players are so full of skills, Elves versus Elves, jeez. <laughs> Get this storybook brawl on and uh, 
sorted. <laughs> yes, let us, yes, pass the time, pass the time. <laughs> right. Well, thank you very much for having me. Brilliant as always. Uh, thanks for having me. And uh, congratulations, Thomas T. Commiserations, Ducky. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.